guys, let's start the day here. I'm going outside now, get a cab, and go to the way, all the way to the university. Because today I have a class, today in Sunday looks crazy. I have university because last Saturday, last, last Monday and Tuesday was holiday here in China. So no one worked because of the international uh, import expo. But now it's time to go and have a class right now. And I'm going there. I already ordered a cab. The cab must be here in two minutes. So I have time to go all the way to the front gate of my building here. But yeah, let's start the day. Class on Sunday. I like that. I, I always like when I have something to do, you know. I just don't like to stay at home like uh, on the bed, chilling, relaxing, not doing anything. I always try to do something every every day. So I don't know. That's my personal thing. Look at this old lady. Ni hao. Ni hao. <laughs> bye bye. She almost cannot walk, but she's always trying to do some exercise here in the in the building. Yeah, let's start. Started to read in a book they call Outlier. Outliers. It's pretty pretty interesting. I was very surprised and uh, uh Navian. And uh, yeah, just read the first chapter, just explaining like about a city called Roseto uh, that was in in Italy, and then those family moved to uh, to US, dollar, uh, and uh, they have like a very good health health uh, condition. Soma, oh, okay. So it's pretty interesting the way they describe like health conditions, why some people get sick when they're living in a town and other people who are living in a countryside we say and uh, don't get sick so i don't know it's just like they try to compare the healthy conditions of two different people living in two different situations that was pretty interesting but yeah i'm just starting to read it read like 10 pages and something but i just made to the university here and let's start get some coffee and then have a class at 10 o'clock got the breakfast now it's time to go to the class and it's just two hours class. Today is the special day here in Shanghai. It's the Shuangxi Yi, they call it uh, double 11, 11, 11, so 11 of October. And, uh, of, sorry, not October, November. And then people are just going outside shopping and like this year is Sunday. So for sure people are going to like Nike stores, Adidas, just yeah. check their products. And if you buy online, man, you get very huge discount. I never believed that. I, I think, ah, my wife's crazy, you know, like she always buys things on this day. But today I checked the price of one product that I want to buy. Normally the price is like 800 and I paid 300 for the bag. That's just like, a, it's completely crazy, like the price of the product. It's like, I don't know how they do that. Maybe sometimes they increase the price, but no, this bag, I know the price won't cost less than 100, less, less than 800, but I bought for 300 and eight years something like this crazy so yeah let's go to the class right now so i just got here in the car finished my class the class was pretty okay just presentations i have two weeks to make my presentation as well and then uh, i'm done so yeah but the tech's now going back home i need to meet my customer he's still here I need to give something he's going back he has a flight today at 5 p.m so i need to give some stuff to him but anyway yeah i talked with a guy from uk i'm pretty happy that he mentioned that he watched my videos before about the university and stuff and yeah man i just checked my videos now on youtube and i they have like 1000 followers and now i can understand the power of media you know like how can influence or how can change a lot of people's perspective you know like i made two videos about talking about mean hand campus the campus that i'm studying here about shuhui campus the also the one i'm studying and the guy was say whoa that's helped me a lot when i was trying to find some information about me huh and i was pretty happy with that it's like recently a lot of people are mentioned about my videos and i decided okay i will come back and i'll make more videos guys Just say goodbye to my friend, customer, uh, Nathaniel. He just got a subway going back all the way to the airport. I gave him some catalog that we, I did print a bit more for the exhibition. He took, he's taken to Brazil and yeah. Now we are here in West Nanjing Road, get some uh, food. I like a restaurant here, like Taco Bell. I know it's not healthy at all, but like, it's pretty delicious, you know, like look. Now we have a chance to eat Taco Bell here in Shanghai. Just 
made it here to this place. It's a contemporary art, like an exhibition here in Shanghai. We have no idea. That's the name of the place, I guess. O, O, E, I, I guess, I guess, I even don't know. We're just, actually it's like, a, I don't know to be honest, but it's an event happening here in Shanghai today, and I decided to come and I will show you a little bit. It's pretty cool, you know, because in Shanghai they have all the time this kind of events, so it's good to come and explore a bit of the art scene here in China, and China in worldwide, to be honest, like, because most of the exhibit, a lot of the exhibitors are from like different countries around the world. This pen here is pretty interesting, you know, like the guys just like put like a looks like Photoshop, you know, but it's not Photoshop. The guys just painting this their body in the Louvre and the, the shade of the, the Louvre, they put like kind of a picture and they, they did that photo. It's like pretty interesting. Let me show you. exhibition that's huge so many collectors and people just like setting the art and it's like showing the pieces unbelievable I didn't expect something like this in Shanghai at least for I mean today you know like the afternoon we we're just walking by and my friend posted some photos on Instagram and it's okay let's go to this contemporary art exhibition or modern art and there are so many different galleries from different countries like from China from US from almost all the cor corners of the world just showing like contemporary art that's the part we didn't visit yet. We went out Serena. For sure, this is one of the most important art uh, exhibition in China or even in, in Shanghai for sure, no doubt about that. Most focus on art and uh, contemporary art. They have so many nice and interesting things here. You know, looks like this one. It's pretty amazing one. But the one that is a Japanese who make a lot of collaborations with Kenny West, pretty famous one. His name is Murakami and he also has some paintings here. And he's famous because of the flower one. And uh, he works with Fario also for a long time. That's the, f the famous one, Murakami. The flowers. That's one of them. The head has the most important, the most like well located here in this exhibition. This is like artist. If you guys never check that, just check on the internet. Go Murakami. Unbelievable. Yo guys, uh, we just finished here. The exhibition was inside of this building here in Shanghai, and uh, that's the six years they have the, this exhibition in more than 16 countries was were participating of that. Anyway. It's time to leave now, going outside, and then we need to do something here in Shanghai. Yo guys, just come from Uniqlo, I was trying some clothes there. Because now it's like double 11, so it's just good time to buy some clothes, you know. Yesterday I bought a bag, but now I try one there because if you could buy on the internet so you have some discount, that's something pretty good, you know. Just go to Uniqlo website and try that and you can get some huge discount. So I'll buy a feeder jacket pretty soon. But yeah, what I want to say is that today I just met a guy that I used to hire him a lot of times like through the internet and he helped me a lot with the business here in China. And his name is Charles, pretty cool guy, you know, like all the, when I have some jobs here to do, I always hire him and pay him to help me to do that. And a very awesome guy from Taiwan and Brazilians. But anyway, uh, I will finish the video today. Hope you guys like that. Trying to come back, getting come back. Since I met that guy in the bar and he said he likes my videos, so I decided to make it more and more and more. And yeah, let's keep moving, make more videos and I hope you guys like that. Going back home now, I need to go all the way through this dark place here, back home. And yeah, hope you guys like that for today. See you tomorrow. Peace and love and boom.